There are two important events coming up in October. One of them is CitizenCon. The other one is Halloween. You single guys know that there are two important dates in the year which you have to go out and hit the town. One of them is Halloween. The other is New Year's. If you need it explained, then you obviously have not done it. Pay attention here, people. I'm old. I have two kids. I can't do it. But I need you to go out there and meet all the slutty nurses and the slutty bumblebees and let them know Montoya sends his regards. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Montoya. Welcome back. Yeah, Halloween is very different once you have kids. It's not the same. It's, not, uh, it's still very enjoyable. It's just different from what it used to be when you used to party about it. A lot happening in Star Citizen. Uh, we had the roadmap which came out uh, September 28th. I want to go over this. And then I want to talk about a bit about the object container stream. But first, Test Squadron does have a booth at CitizenCon. You are invited to come by and say hello, shake some hands. We have plenty of giveaways. If you are a Test main member, we have swag for you. Affiliates? Maybe. Also, if you're not a member at all, we still have a bunch of giveaways. I think we have upwards of 10 Aurora game packages, which could be yours. Drop by the booth and come say hello. Let's jump right into the roadmap. As always, thank you to Odessus 1992 for making this. I know it takes a lot of time and effort. We do appreciate it. 3.3.0 uh, is out to Avocadi. If you are in Avocadi and you are not in there, you have probably been asleep because it is out. Check marks all the way down, almost all the way down. That is because some of the stuff has been moved to 3.3.5. But let's take a look at what is not finished yet that is of relevance. Uh, Odyssey flight suit rework, eh, not so important. Shipboard ping and scanning, 79%, but still going. Uh, otherwise, check marks almost on everything that is important. Uh, now, the most important thing in 3.3.5 is Hurston Planet at 84% coming along strong. Now, they've got about 10 days to get this done because they said they will be showcasing this at, well, we hope they will be showcasing at CitizenCon. So they have 10 days to get that done. I think they can do it. And the other thing is object container streaming, 33%, no change because they've been focusing on everything else uh, to get this moving as fast as possible. Otherwise, 3.4, not much happening. The Anvil Hawk over 50% looking good. Uh, the 300i rework, 32%. Uh, a total at 40%, up 30% from the previous week, which is great. A lot of people own the 300. are looking forward to seeing what's happening with that. And uh, the Misc Freelancer variants, the Max Dur and Miss, all coming along nicely. That is looking good. 3.5, you know, not too important. It's too far out. But I, what I do want to take a look at is object container streaming and the example of it that they put out recently. Now, this is obviously a very dumbed-down version of what it is. But if you haven't been following... Uh, the reason why this is so important, the reason why we consider this the Jesus patch, again, not like every single previous Jesus patch, but the big issue that Star Citizen has been having is obviously performance. And the big problem is that if you are at Port Olisar and I'm on Demo or wherever and I spawn myself a Starfarer, that Starfarer, the details of that happening are sent out to everyone everyone and if i crash that stuff error and things go flying all over the place every single piece of information is sent to your client too now that is not important to you if you are at port olisar all that's important to you at port olisar is exactly what you can see around you at that moment in time and maybe the sections next to you you'll be traveling to that is what object container streaming is and the example i show here is pretty much it so let's say uh, this red room signifies the room you uh, spawned in and you step out the room. Once you're outside the room, it's not important what's in that room anymore. That room can essentially be unloaded. And so red shows the squares being unloaded. What's important to you is where you're right now and the exact squares and areas around you. Also, if you walk through a door, that area has to be ready to be loaded in. So that's the green areas. And obviously what's beyond that has to be prepped also. So if you have to travel towards the green square, they will become white, and the white squares will get unloaded, freeing up a lot of memory. That's why the people who have 32 gigs of RAM are getting much better frame rates than the rest of us. I've got a 16 gig machine here. It does okay. It's okay. So hopefully this, when the object container streaming is complete, how are we looking here? Where was it? Object container streaming, 30, 33%. So the hope is once this is done, and it is a huge undertaking, once this is complete, it should improve should improve our performance 
They don't know by how much and they don't want to give us any guesses until they have it actually tested out because it could be a 5% improvement or it could be a 30% improvement. We don't know, but this is just one of the many things they're doing to help improve the performance in Star Citizen. And honestly, for a lot of people, the biggest issue they have are the frame rates. They go, it's fine, it's at 30 FPS, it drops down to 15, it's terrible, it goes up to 60, it's fine. Uh, these fluctuations all depend on what's happening around you. So obviously, very exciting to see this done. It's going to be a while, but uh, here they are explaining to us. And uh, fingers crossed that it's done before Q4, hopefully. With that, let's wrap up. I've got a lot of work to do in my office back here. I can't tell if you can see, but uh, I've shifted things up. Uh, back here, these boxes are going to move against the wall. I want that to be a green screen wall. Everything else is a disgusting mess right now, so it's being cleaned up. Ninja Girl has threatened divorce multiple times over the mess in my office. But you know what? This is my space. I have a receipt from 2003 from something over there. I have a box from something I may need over there. Obviously, all the cables you've seen. Who knows when I might need it, but anyway. Uh, a bit of cleanup to do here, but stay tuned. As always, subscribe, uh, thumbs up. Let me know if you enjoy this content or not, and definitely drop by. CizenCon booth for Test Squadron. Let me shake your hand if you're coming. I will see you there on the next video, which will probably come sooner. Catch you later.